Hi Pit Stoppers, in this video I will be teaching you how to do basic grooming on your fur baby. First, let me demonstrate to you how to shave a female dog's underbelly. Here we have twigs lying down comfortably to show you clearly how it's done. As you can see from the pee area, there's two nipples that you can see clearly. It's like an indicator to show us how much we should shave. If your fur baby's underbelly isn't like a forest, you can clearly see where your groomer has shaved previously. Just follow it, unless you want to shave a little higher, you can go ahead. Do take note of this corner where the skin is very thin and prone to shaver cut. If you're afraid to shave this area, leave it to your groomer to do it during the grooming session. Remember to trim around the pee area. As well, clean shaved area promote better hygiene. Now we will show you how to shave the underbelly for a male dog. It's a little different compared to female dogs due to the penis but the same concept. Using the same method of locating the nipples, shave upwards and create an end shape. As for the penis area, usually I will shave it clean, but if your boy is a marker, you probably want to leave some fur to prevent the pee from shooting too far ahead. Unless your boy is wearing a manner span, then go ahead and shave the area as clean as possible. Trimming the paw pad's fur is very important. The fur baby's paws act like the sole of your shoes, creating grip when they walk. However, an overgrown fur under the paws is like wearing worn-out flip-flops in the rain. No friction and may cause you to sleep. You may shave off the fur around the under paw. You don't have to shave the inner paw fur if you're afraid or if your fur baby doesn't allow it. As long as the fur under the paw is short, it helps them to walk better. If you would like to challenge yourself and your fur baby is cooperative, you may attempt to shave the inner paw fur by pulling the teddy bear's arms away, revealing the inner paw's fur. Using the dick motion, shave the fur outwards. Trimming the inner area is very important. It is to prevent any poop from being stuck to the fur. To trim the inner area, do not shave upwards. As shaving upwards, you may injure your fur baby. Always shave outwards, away from the butt hole. It depends on how wide you would want to shave the area. Some parents believe that shaving the area wider and cleaner helps a lot. So it depends on parents or the groomer that's grooming your fur baby. First, let me show you white colored nails. So for white nails, you are able to see the veins, which we call it the quick. For Toby, his nails are still quite short, so we'll just use the nail grinder to grind instead. Since this paw has two black nails, usually the length of the quick is about the same, so we'll just grind them as well. For the dew claw, it's the most challenging of all to trim. Hold your fur baby's paw firmly and gently push the dew claw outwards for easy trimming.
If you do wish to try nail trimming, here's our tip. Holding your fur baby's paws firmly, trim the tip of the nails only if you're unsure how much to trim. Usually, when trimming the nails, we would leave a little allowance for us to grind the nails blunt. Nails like twigs are neither black or white. If you look carefully, some of the nails you can see a faint pinkish quick. If you would like to see it clearer, use a torch light to shine at the nail and you'll be able to see the quick clearer. For a totally black nail, trim bit by bit till you see a small black dot. That's where you have to stop. See there? That's the small black dot that I'm talking about. Using the ear powder, pour a reasonable amount in. Using your index finger and thumb, gently pull out the ones that are easily accessible to you. For the inner ones, use the ear for sap to pull it out gently. Using a cotton, twirl it around the ear for sap and pull the ear cleaner on it. Wipe away the dirt and ear powder around the ear. It's okay to clean the outer area only if you're afraid to go too deep or if your fur baby doesn't allow you to clean a little deeper. Using a comb, comb downwards the fringe and trim from the corner of the eye to the other corner of the eye. It's like trimming bangs for your fur baby, it's just a one straight line. For the eye area, comb out the fur and trim the area. Careful of your scissors tip not to poke the eye. Trimming this area prevents fur from poking into the eyes and cause, causes irritation. For the fur on the upper muzzle that's blocking your fur baby's vision, comb it upwards and trim it in a straight line. And voila, your fur baby can now see the world. We've come to the end of our basic grooming video. Stay tuned for our next video where we'll share with you our pet care knowledge. Stay calm, stay safe, stay home. See ya!